When Northampton Arts Collective first took this building over, one of the first major achievements was to turn it into what it is now, great space and a great venue that can cater for extremely large installations, but also very intimate shows as well. I think it's a great resource for the community. I'd like to see it continue, just really help the arts in Northampton blossom. From the fish market being here, it's brought everyone together and made it a bit more visible. I've written the work for six soloists. Mary. Jesus. Ito was a character that came into the story quite late on, and he really didn't like the fact that Mary was there. He felt that Mary was taking the love away from him. Susanna and Martha are two of the other women that would have been travelling with Jesus. And the priest really represents the established church, who again didn't really like the presence of women and was suspicious and fearful of women. I would like this work to be heard in magnificent spaces. My self-image and my art were always a part of each other. Sometimes I shaved my head. I think I was the first woman in San Francisco to shave her head. Men screamed when they saw me on the street. It was unusual. Most women artists only go as far as other people allow them to, taking an often ladylike position to their own humanity. I worked to break out of the geisha-like shell into my own personhood, no matter how dark the facts may be, a sort of Persephone in my own underworld. Well, we're building the Dark Knight out of flammable wood. This wooden shell will burn away and the dragon will be revealed inside. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Uh, I suppose you want to come in, don't you? <laughs> Afraid not. There are three main aims for Northampton Town Centre Business Improvement District. The first of which is all about getting people into the town centre, more activity in the town centre, events that enrich the lives of those people that visit and encourage the people from outside the town to come into the town and see what we're all about. Hi, my name's Nathan and I guess I'm more well known for my paper cutting as an artist. But I do do other types of art as well, painting, drawing and um, even shoot tattooing as well. When I sort of started thinking about becoming an artist, I wanted to sort of start it back in Northampton where I was born. Discover Northampton campaign, yeah, will benefit me as an artist. It's great exposure and with all the people involved and the shops involved. I'm Sheila Kerwin, the podiatrist at Langham Place Foot Clinic. I'd like to tell you a little bit about what we do here. I'd like to tell you what a podiatrist is, what sort of patients would normally come and see us, and how you can actually make an appointment to see us. A podiatrist is the new name for a chiropodist, and we specialise in conditions of the foot, leg and ankle. So if you just walk up and down on the spot for a moment. Diabetics, 
they need to come and see us on a more regular basis due to the fact that sometimes they can have issues with their circulation and sensation. That's a, that's a nice strong pulse there, that's good. Many children come to see us with the usual problems like ingrowing toenails and verrucas, but we also see children who have pain in their feet or maybe just excessive shoe wear that is causing concern. My name is Adam Smith and I am the co-founder of the Real Junk Food Project. We're basically a, an organic network of page field cafes that intercepts food from all over the world. Supermarket front doors, to supermarket bins, to food banks, to allotments, to households, cafes, restaurants. And we let people come into an inclusive environment to pay as they feel in return for whatever it is they eat. We have gone from one single cafe in Leeds to over 100 worldwide. The vision has to be that we go out of business because waste food no longer exists. But I think it's going to be a very long time before that happens. Expose the amount of food that is wasted from every source of the chain and then literally feed the world. Urubu was a vision I had for many years inspired by the Indian mystic Osho and his live music dance meditations. He always used live music for his powerful transformational events. And I spent a number of years in India as a child around his community and that had a, quite a big impact on me. So forming Urubu to create ecstatic dance events was really a, the natural evolution of my experience with Osho. Urubu is the dance of life. It's the invitation to the dance of life. Completely balmy how we're going to transport a six metre tall lady cadaver to London using bicycles. I like bikes, they're a great leveller, they're utilitarian, they get you around, um, they're simple, like me, you don't have to spend a lot of money on them, turning them into beautiful looking objects. Critical Mass in Northampton uh, started about two and a half years ago. The summer ones are always quite a lot of fun. So there are all sorts of people that come out. I'd like to think there's no snobbery. It's all about having fun on bicycles and a uh, nice melting pot of uh, people who like bicycles. This is my first experience in 29 years thus far of uh, going on a tandem and we're about to break. I've done another group bike ride like this. The naked bike ride in Brighton without many clothes on. I don't really know a lot about critical mass. There's London, New York, Paris, Rome, you name it. Wherever there's a perfume from, there'll be a critical mass. Games Time is a large outdoor performance using performers from the community. We've had volunteers, participants from all around Northamptonshire. We have film, animation, fireworks, lights, everything. So it's just a, a massive celebratory show in Northampton. Welcome to India. You may be seeing me dress up like Mahatma Gandhi, 
but uh, this is his territory actually. We are in Gujarat. This is my part of my tradition to follow uh, and I'm very proud to do that. Really, and I was born in Severlong, Northampton. Very hard. We didn't have much money. I left school when I was 14. I went into a shoe factory. Didn't like it, mind you. Hated it, but it was a job. I used to go to the dances on the camps. Well, I had a whale of a time. I was engaged three times. Once to an American, but I couldn't go to America because I couldn't leave my mum. <laughs> So that bro got broken off, and that's when I went back with Harry. He was billeted like near the pub, December 23rd, 1950. That was at St Sepulchre's Church, that was. Gosh, 61 years. Didn't think I'd last that long. <laughs> I've got some fond memories, nice ones as well. <laughs> some sad, but some very nice. I like my Guinness. <laughs> I have my Guinness every night. My favourite pastime is dancing, which I've always loved since I was knee-high, really. And uh, I'm still doing it. The sequence, and I like the ballroom. Not as good as the Guinness. <laughs> I do portraits, usually to commission, and they're hanging in some fabulous places. Give me a beautiful face, or any face. To me, it's like walking across a landscape and the soul of the person. And the intimacy between you and the sitter is, is very, very special. And I really, really love it. Oil paintings take about 12 sittings. The Alamore took four hours, and the stuff he said was just so special. I was floating in every way.